flag in honor of those who have served our country. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Y'all make me see. Hard work that you put into your education is paying off. 
right now at this moment. Whatever you decide after today, whether it is to continue your education or not, that's your choice. I was found suitable and went home in 2021, but I did not continue my education. Even with the continuing support from Tori, Tony, Mark, and all the rest of the folks that kept on pushing me to go back to school. Long story short, I just started my first semester at Long Beach City College Job Google. I realized constantly learning that that was what I was meant to do, right? I am a lifelong learner. So why not go back to school and continue to train myself to become mentally strong and to work out, right? So today I encourage you all to be lifelong learners. And if that means continuing through the available college program, I remember having a conversation on VR with my friend A about how it would be so cool that Pelican Bay could be the destination for folks and how it would be so dope if we had a bachelor's program. Of course, we started to bother everybody, staff, board, and all that. And they were listening to you know, our ideas and you know, like, oh, okay, yeah, no idea. So with this amazing community we have about the administration of college where we your part of now, that conversation is now like a reality. That is super low. I talk to people still that are in this journey, and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing. That's crazy, bro, for this reason. I plan on getting my bachelor's eventually on the other side of the wall and making every one of you proud as you work on your way out. I hope to see you on the other side. You guys have played a critical role in my rehabilitation 
and your efforts will bear lots of fruits when I am ready to re-enter society and contribute everything you have taught me back into it. Also, CDCR, thanks to the department and its staff for providing us access to rehabilitative programs and now college. The incarcerated community benefits greatly from having such programs available for the population to take advantage of. Everyone in this room today who made it a point to finish what they started should be very proud of themselves. Every one of you reflect what it means to succeed. Every goal accomplished is a show of success. Every effort and dedication towards the future is in the correct direction to living a successful life. Success is not defined by a position or financial status. You don't have to be rich to be successful or be the boss to succeed. Success is defined by the type of energy you put into your endeavors. Although we might not always be the bar that was set, we always get back up and finish the job. And with that, I'd like to exit with a few words of encouragement to all my brothers in here who fight hard every day to challenge the narrative that all prisoners are bad. We are not defined by our past mistakes or transgressions. We are defined by our actions today and the type of example we need to guide those who follow our footsteps. So keep leading in the right direction and show the world all the wonderful things we have to offer. Last but not least, I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for guiding me through difficult times while achieving. 
my AA and my family, and especially all of the inspirational staff in our Sierra College program at LMA. I'd also like to give 
a shout out to Kelly Neighbor, our regional raising scholars coordinator from the California Community Transfer Conference. She actually made it in. <laughs>
Part of the Redwoods and its campuses are surrounded by traditional, ancestral, and present homeland of several indigenous nations, including the Yura, Karu, Bug, Guya, Matomo, and Wallaki, that make up humble and Delaware friends. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you to Dr. Keith Flicker, President of College of Redwoods. Thank you. 